still, as of 11 p.m., a Category 3 hurricane with 120 mile per hour winds ripping through the Bahamas. It's going to stretch into a Category 4, they still believe, and then track toward the outer banks of a Category 3 storm when it makes landfall and then a 2 once it passes the outer banks, 8 o'clock Saturday night. So going down from 120 to a paltry 105 miles per hour. From there, northward across Long Island and into what would be the central Connecticut coastline, looking like it'd be closer to New Haven as a Category 2 high, Category 1 low, Category 2, so we were talking about before, that Category 1 that you see there over New England is just weakened a little bit as it's come on to land, but still a hurricane. What it would make landfall in southern New England, that shaded area continues to shrink. That's the area of probability where the storm can veer off to the right or to the left. It has veered just a little bit to the left, the official center line track, but really all of the coast of New England, southern coast of New England, is still under the gun with this storm. We're going to talk more about it in a few minutes. All right, Kevin, the vineyard and...